last right time on Blow but Nose. when I first saw this shoe, the first thing I wanted to do was paint that panel. I'll probably do another video on that and it's gonna be me just customizing or just painting over this part right here. What up everybody, it's your boy Blow Nose. And today we're gonna customize those Jordan 1 mids to look like the bands. Roll that montage. Okay, I lied. By the time I'm filming this part right now, I've already done it. I filmed all that footage a couple days ago. So here is the final product. It's been uh, chilling for a couple days. Here it is. Yeah, it's pretty much all done. See this part right here? Previously red. Now. It's black. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty, looking factory, you know? Like, I think that's the cool part about this custom is that it's factory looking. Looks like it was meant to be that way. But what's the point of me just showing you what I did without showing you what it's supposed to look like? So let me pull out, let me pull out the 2016 bands. So this one right here, this is the 2016 pair. Yeah, I haven't really put eyes on these for a really long time, but as you can see, as is a common issue with this shoe is that there's some weird, like, crystallizing effect that happens, and that's just due to the finishing, like the finisher on this leather, or pleather, what do you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, there's a ton of spots, like, you know, just a discoloration of the, just mostly the black. There's a spot right here in the back of the the red. But the black leather, there's some weird discoloration. Whatever, I can fix it. Let's compare it to the mids. 2016, and then the mids from 2020. There it is. Not too bad, pretty close. Overall quality though, it's pretty clear that the pies from 2016 leather quality is much better. Less uh, synthetic or plastic feeling than the mids, but you know, it's a pretty cool way to get the similar effect. I like to call them the stun doubles because as you can see, dead stock, haven't worn them. Don't know if I will, at least not for a really long time. And then, these ones, pretty low in price. I know they're the mids. I don't typically like the mids as much as I do the highs, but once I saw them, I knew I was going to paint that portion right there, the eyelets. So I can uh, wear these 
wear these ones and get the same sort of effect of wearing these ones. I mean, these ones, yeah, these have, have to be one of my favorites of all time, but if I can bust out these and preserve, preserve these, it's a solid investment, time and money. In terms of like difficulty, it's actually really, really easy. If I didn't tape anything off, if I got any paint on an area that I didn't want it on there, like the color up here in, on the red, it was easy to wipe off or just scratch off without it being super visible. I mean, if you want to take the extra precaution when you're doing this to tape off those areas, it, yeah, it, it only takes an extra maybe like five minutes to do. So it's kind of worth it. But when painting black on the rest of the black leather, barely visible or even pretty much invisible. There's some, like I was, I was pretty generous in some areas with the layers and I was definitely getting it on the other areas that were already black and I can't even tell the difference between the two. I use the Angelus flat black on here. Some other people recommend just using the regular black and then using like a matte finisher. I suppose I could have done that, but I just wanted to buy the flat black paint and then I sprayed some rain and stain on top of it to, you know, protect it from water. So it's a, a hydrophobic spray. So it wouldn't make it like bleed or anything like that afterwards. So yeah, this is pretty well protected right now. Easy custom, uh, highly recommend doing it. Time commitment, you can, you can do it in less than an hour, less than a half an hour if you're really good at doing this to begin with. It's probably my first like custom custom with paint. So I, I kind of took my time with it, but once I got comfortable, it became very, very easy. Yeah, this one right here, it's gonna go back into the vault, the vault, the shelf, whatever you want to call it. Maybe one day I'll put them on, but until that day, I have these to fill that void. I could see myself, you know, wearing these way, way more often and not even caring about the wear and tear and all the stuff that happens when you wear a shoe daily, you know, like normal people do. But if you look around this room and see my behavior with the shoes, it's clear that I am not a normal person. So it is what it is. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. If you wanna try out this custom, super easy, highly recommend it. If you need some help, feel free to reach out. I can give you some pointers. Reach out to me via Twitter, Instagram. I'm not a professional by any means, but if I can do it, anybody can do this. I'm not like a customizer or like a sneaker artist or whatever, but did an okay job at this. But yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.